Hey everyone, it's Keisha Charmaine and I'm back. I've been hearing so many raving reviews on social media about this brand of lipsticks so I had to see if it's all worth the hype. So this video is somewhat of a try on haul swatch video, call it what you want. <laughs> but here you'll be able to see the 9 colors that I bought and how they look on brown skin. Here are some ColourPop Ultra Matte and Lippy Sticks. This ultra matte lip color is called Limbo. It's a really pretty cinnamony brown shade that goes great with my skin and hair. I feel like I could wear this one every day, everywhere, with any eye look. This is my favorite. So here's another ultra matte called LAX. I really like it since it's a brownish burgundy color which is really perfect for fall or winter. This will go with a lot of eye makeup but I think this cat eye combo is bomb. This lippy stick is called Creature. Here's another fave. It's a lot like LAX, but it's creamier and it's a deeper shade of burgundy. This is gonna be another go-to of mine. Here's a plum colored lippy stick called Nevermind. No, it's called Nevermind. <laughs> Being that it's so dark, I think it would look best with some understated eye makeup. This color is really pretty and edgy and great for winter. This lippy sticks is called Ellery, named after the YouTuber. It's a very feminine light red shade. It's very creamy and I think that'll look good all year round. Now, this ultra matte lip is called Mo Better. I was really reluctant to buy the shade because I usually don't think that hot pink colors look good on my lips because they're so big, but I love it. Since it's matte, it doesn't make my lips look obnoxious and I bet you I'll be wearing this this winter even though it's more of a summer color. Hmm, this ultra matte lip color is called Kapow, but in my opinion, it looks more like Kapoop. Womp womp. It's like a gray lilac. I don't know where I'm wearing this color, but I'll come up with something, okay? Zipper is the name of this ultra matte lipstick. It's really pretty, I like it a lot. It'll look good with plenty of eye looks and outfits, whether you're contrasting or color blocking or coordinating. Now, pinky nudes are not my thing, so my first impression of It's My Ray Ray's Stingray was not too great. I tried it with some darker pink liner and still didn't like it, but when I tried it with brown liner, it looked really, really good in daylight. Here's a pic I posted on Instagram. Follow me at Killer Does That. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other ColourPop lipstick recommendations, leave them below in the comments and tell me which ones are your faves. Remember to subscribe and share. Love, light, and lock.